Hey guys, Rob Tui here. Thanks for watching the tutorial video on the coding package. This video should serve for all four code items on the DMs Guild that I currently have. They are all operated the same way. They uh, There's one for class features, one for feats, there's one for race traits, and there's one for spells. But they all work the same, so I'm just going to do one video for all of them. Uh, to replace the old, old videos that I have. And uh, uh, so you want to make sure that any of these you have, if you have all four, if you just have one of them, you want to make sure they're open in your library, obviously. And then I just have the PHP open here because we're going to do a comparison. So they're all open and everything that's in there is on the spells list. So here's the spells list. Uh, I've got my little example dude right here uh, with a, uh, he's, just a, he's just a character with nothing. And he's got a mace because I'm going to make an attack for an example. And then in the combat tracker, we have the example dude and a rat, both with 100 hit points. Uh, whenever I'm testing things, I just make everything have a million hit points. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the spells. I think there's a good example uh, from the spells, and we'll look up Hex. So there's Hex. There's my coding of Hex. Um, let, me, let me show you all just so that I can show you the comparison. So with Hex, there is... Um, Whoops, I guess that's not going to work. Okay, so Hex hex from the Player's Handbook just has Hex, and mine has this coding on it. So let's drag mine over. Um, and you'll see that uh, here there's two things. The first thing is that uh, Hex, when you, uh, when, a, when you Hex a creature, it does have a disadvantage on a ability out of the six ability, Strength, Con, Dex, etc., so you open this up and you can change the word edit to whatever you want. Let's in this case say it's going to be dexterity for the rat. So uh, we're going to give him, uh, we're going to drag that effect right over to him. He's going to have a uh, disadvantage on his dexterity checks. And then the other effect, which is the extra d6 necrotic, we're going to hold shift. And I have it marked for self here, but we're going to shift and drag it to the rat itself. And it's going to apply it to me. Now you'll notice that when I shift drag to the uh, monster, it then applies the effect to me, and it has target rat. So this will only if the the extra d6 will only affect if I attack the rat, but not anything else. So now let's test that. Uh, let's do a d6 bludgeoning damage to the rat. We look over and we see yes, it did get the extra d6 damage. Now let's just drop the damage on me, and oh look, only the regular damage. Also, uh, really cool, it did a concentration check, I failed, and it removed both effects. So there you go, that is, that is really cool. Um, now let's, let's show you the player's handbook hex, and we can look at the differences. So first of all, obviously mine has labels in it, whereas the, the player's handbook just says damage 1d6, there's no label. And once you start stacking five, six, seven things on a PC in the combat tracker, the DM's looking at that and going, what is that, what's that for, I don't remember. Mine has a title, it says Hex, so it's, it's, it's very nice for that. Um, also, uh, let's put the thing, uh, let's put this back on the rat. Let's open up the rat stat block, and let's do a check. He does a strength check, yep, that's regular. He does a dex check, oh, and that is in fact at disadvantage, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's how that works. The, uh, the normal Fantasy Grounds um, uh, coding for that doesn't even include the... Uh, doesn't even include the uh, disadvantage on check. And also you see here that the PHP Fantasy Grounds version has a roll effect in it, which means you apply that every time and then it comes off. So back and forth and back and forth, whereas mine, you just apply it once and leave it, and it stays for either the minute uh, or the hour or whatever it is, and or until the concentration breaks. Uh, so there you go. That's how that works. Now, uh, that's just an example of, of how that works. And just to show you, um, I like to have my desktop all clean. Let me clear this off. Just to show you how it works with feats um, and everything else, let's do the class features. So here with the class features, you'll see that I have, everything is in the spells list. So these, all these effects are in the spells list, even though they're not spells. So um, let's, let's open up my dude again. And uh, where did he go? Yeah. Let's put on, let's not confuse everything, so let's get rid of these hexes. But um, if you have a, a barbarian, and he, obviously, all barbarians have rage, you drag rage on there, boom, it's coded, it's ready to go. So uh, that's pretty cool. 
uh, what else? There's feats. All the feats are listed here. And again, if you're if you're in a huge all list and you're like, I only want to look at the feats, you can just type in feat. They're all titled by feat like that. So if you um, if you get the new dragon fear feat out of the uh, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, you drag that on there, bam, it's there. It's ready to go. So super cool. Um, there's class features. There's feats. There's also race traits in addition to spells. So the race traits are all there. Those are, again, titled by the race itself. So let's say, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, let's pick one. Why am I having trouble? I don't know. Uh, half silent speech. Let's drag that on there. So there you go. Uh, it's a code that you can apply to the combat tracker. That's a note that that uh, says that you have telepathy uh, for 30 feet if if you have a shared language. So really, really nice. All feats, all all everything that has a code, there is a code. So that's how that works. And uh, hopefully that is a uh, a quick tutorial on how to use these and and shows you the advantage of uh, what you can do by using the codes, and um, I hope that uh, it helps everybody. I uh, don't know why I'm stumbling at the end of the video, but I don't think I'm going to remake it just because I stumbled at the end. <laughs> so enjoy that, guys. If you have questions, my contact information is inside all the modules. You guys can email me and ask questions if you, if you need help, but it seems uh, pretty straightforward if you've seen this video. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, good gaming, everyone.